So, I didn't think it was possible. You know, I thought I was pretty sure of myself. Thought I knew who I was. You know, I'm 28 at this point, for those of y'all don't know, I'm 28. Uh, yeah, I'm sure of who I am. I took this accessory test. When I got this accessory test back and got these percentages and these results, I feel like my entire life is a lie at this point. Boy, y'all stay tuned for these results. It's about to get real. Yeah, you feel the vibe. Better press like and subscribe. Steady on grind. Million plus we on the rise. Why be seen when you understand? To entertain your every need. So shadows to friends and family. It roasts and Yeah, we be killing it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Welcome to the show. I hope you feel it. Feel it. So back and watch the subs with your million. Yeah. Yeah. Watch what I do yeah. for entertainment. Watch what I do for your amazement. Can't contain it. Hit the like button. Make a nigga day and tell me how you love it. It really help us if you get to sub it. But all she trying to do is get to f Yo, YK, W, T, F, G. Oh, man. You got Jay. You got Jay, and I'm back, man. I'm back to do another video with y'all, man. And this ain't, this, this is different. This is no... It's no reaction video, it's it's nothing, you know, really happening in the, in the entertainment industry or business or nothing like that. But it's one thing that I always say, on this channel, we cater and we cover everything that is for the culture. You feel me? And if you read the title of this video, there is literally no better way to do it for the culture than figuring out exactly what you are from Ancestry.com. This ain't even no promo for Ancestry. Ancestry, if you want to sponsor me, email is down below. But I just, I was Ubering. I was going around Ubering and I just, I was like, look, I need to talk to y'all real quick because if this is something that y'all have not done off the rip without even sharing my percentages or, 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 or results or anything with y'all, I suggest you do it, okay? Before we get into it anymore though, man, y'all gotta press subscribe. Y'all press subscribe because we on the road to a million subscribers, but we definitely on the road to 100K. So if it's less than 100K when you're watching this video, press subscribe, y'all press like, y'all comment down below, man. If you've done Ancestry, we gonna talk about that after the fact. Y'all comment down below and y'all distribute. Y'all share this video to all of your friends and your family, man, because uh, this is real. Let me go back. Let me, let me, let me, from the, from the start of the process to now, for me, it's probably been about right at five weeks, four or five weeks, I want to say. So, got the kit, in the kit, and I wish I would have recorded this part, but you know, didn't know I wanted to do this video about it. In the kit, you get the swab, you get, you get QR codes, you get scan codes and everything that, to, to link you to the app. Very simple instructions. You feel me? Then there's a little bitty tube, a little bitty tube that you gotta spit in. Gotta get all the spit into, or you gotta fill the tube up with spit, not including the bubbles. Do you know how hard that is to spit without providing bubbles? Anyway, um, yeah, you gotta fill the tube up. Then, of course, I took pictures of it, made sure everything was 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 verified and all that good stuff. Um, then you ship it in. Cool. Of course, as everyone says, and as everyone is probably hesitant about, who am I sending my DNA into? And what are they gonna do to it? In the startup process, they give you a few questions um, that you can go through and give your consent to or not um, about you know them sharing your DNA or you know stuff like that, doing more research. But you know they want our DNA if they want our information there's no more privacy in this world anyway it doesn't matter but at the end of the day I want to know what I am who I am where I come from so I felt like it was worth it um boy oh boy sent it in okay and then this is the nerve-wracking part you're waiting four to five weeks getting the updates through the app you know that they've received your sample they've extracted your DNA they're testing your DNA you know they're they're going through analyzing everything about you. This is the most nerve-wracking part. And then you get that notification. Your results are in. You feel me? Like you, this is the moment where you're about to figure out who you are. You know what race or, or, or ethnicity that you go by. 
you know that your family goes by that your the culture and and you know and heritage that you that you practice but this is the moment that you really figure out exactly who you are right boy oh boy i get the notification right and it shows you your ancestry dna results i'm about to go through this you feel me and i'm a, i'm a, i'm a, i'm a screen record it ain't much to screen record. i'm gonna just screen record the process for y'all but then I'm gonna leave the screen on these percentage points and we gonna go through them one by one. Cause I was extremely surprised when I got mine. But let's figure out who J is. Who is J3? You feel me? So as y'all can see now, we're on the Ancestry DNA app. Oh, y'all already see countries and stuff, huh? Oh, you seeing percentages already, huh? Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. 29%. I started thinking already. I'm like, wait, 29%. That ain't that much. That's 30%. Okay. But that, that makes sense. You feel me? All right, bet. West Africa, we in that thing. Nigeria, cool. Figured that. 19% Nigerian. 19% Nigerian. And I was like, okay. So 29 plus 19, that's, that's up there. Okay. So West African, we right in this thing. And they're right next to each other. So I'm like, all right, that makes sense. My next percentage underneath Nigerian is England and Northwestern Europe at 15%. When I tell y'all, when I saw that 15%, because in my head, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, that's the third highest thing that's in me. I'm not racist. You feel me? Am I? I'm not. I'm not. But what I'm saying is 15% of me is either from England or Northwestern Europe. I'm going to get back to that later. Woo! After that, Molly. Molly's a cool 10%. You feel me? Like I said, more. Well, all, all that, that's that's on Western Africa, that west west coast of Africa. Makes sense. Ivory Coast Ghana, 6%. You feel me? Then right under that. We still like in the top. This is the top six ethnicity groups that I belong to. And right underneath Ivory Coast and Ghana is Scotland. At 6% itself. And I talked to my aunt about this. I had to talk to my aunt. And I'm like, these percentages are catching me off guard. You feel me? Scotland? I'm Scottish? 6%? I didn't even, I, I, I literally didn't expect nothing but 1%, 2% Scottish. 6% and she was like, yeah, that means that's a couple drops of blood in, you feel me, of, of, of Scotland. Yeah, I, I know, I know. So anyway, let's keep going. Um, mm, Please, forgive me. Benin? 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 Benin, Benin and Togo, 5%. It's like, okay. So it's, this is the, this is the lower, lower end of who I am. Then Senegal, 4%. Right after that, Sweden and Denmark at 2%. So I'm like, I'm Swedish, I'm Scottish, I'm European, Northwestern European and England. And what do you call England? English? I'm English. I'm English. And then underneath Sweden is Germanic European. At 1%. Then you got Northern Italy at 1%. Then you have Finland. Fin I don't even know nobody from Finland. Then you got Finland at 1%. And then to end it off, and this is what's crazy. I know personally, every black person that I know that lives, either lives or is from the uh, South or even in America. I always want to claim that they got some Native American in them, right? Indigenous Americans North, 1%. That's at the bottom of my list, man. Um. Wow, <laughs> it's just, as you literally see, we can sit here and look at the lists 
of all of these different ethnicities and cultures and and I really realize that I am mixed all the way up. Like, you know, not even, you know, a lot of us, there is no 100% pure breed anything. You feel me? We're all mixed with a lot of different things. But when you look at these percentages, my highest percentage of anything in me is 30%. 29%. It just caught me off guard, man. It caught me off guard, like I said. And then I did, I did the, I, I, I did the math even after that. It was like I said, man, my third highest thing in me was England and Northwestern Europe. So I'm like, okay, I had to do it. Let me go ahead, add up my African, <laughs> my African percentage in cultures and, and, and ethnicity. And let me, let me add up the ones that aren't. I did the math. And if you haven't already, I did the math and realized that African culture or Afri a African descent 73% and I'm literally no 72% and I'm literally 27% other I say all this to say after I read this I was I mean not even not even disrespectfully just like whoa taken aback like who am I <laughs> You know, we like I said in the beginning of the video, we go through our lives, we go through, you know, each day and, you know, living the culture or, you know, living in the family and everything that we, you know, that that we're presented or what cultural standards we think, you know, we live in. And the reality of the situation is we don't know who we are as far as the bloodline. Um, oh, and another thing, as far as with ancestry, it, it shows you even like, so when you were over here in America, what communities you, you stem from, it showed that I also, or that I stemmed from the Mali Jesus, the Mississippi and Louisiana African Americans. I knew this part on my dad's side. Um, that family is all in Mississippi, New Orleans. I've been new about that. Been to Mississippi, New Orleans, all parts of my life. But this was one thing that also definitely surprised me. Said that the other community that my people belong to was early North Carolina African Americans. And I'm like, yo, aside from, and, I, and we did a video, that literally when I vlogged, going when we were in Asheville, that was my first time ever going to North Carolina. And I literally had no idea that my people exist or went, come from North Carolina. It was just such a, it, it was, it was a surprise. And, and the thing with Ancestry as well, um, I did the basic package. So I just, I, I just sent in my DNA results, got these percentages. But the, the crazy thing about Ancestry is it gives you all these different options. These kind of not really tier packages, but kind of packages where it's like, you know, you can pay a certain amount of money and you'll get family trees, you know, where you can connect to all different people. And, and, and it makes more sense as far as how this person may be related to you because I've gotten all types of different matches and it go it shows from first cousins all the way up to fourth cousins and that was surprising alone just seeing some of those names that I've seen before and you know and realizing yo this is true this is really who I am um was such a cool experience man such a cool experience and like I said with the percentages it just it just it helps you or it makes you want to expect it makes you want to figure out more it makes you want to explore it, it, like literally as I'm looking through here I'm looking up different flags you know different parts of the culture it literally gives you a deep dive on what each one of those ethnicities mean and what they did back in the days you know um so I I I think it's safe to say that we really know how or have no clue who we are until we just take this test or just 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 send in the DNA and just just get it done because like I said at this point now I want to do more research I want to figure out more I've sent this to my mother my father my grandmother my my, my aunt I've, I've sent it to everybody just like yo like this is what I am so like y'all can gauge y'all percentages from here man and just you know go from there because and like I said if it's one thing that we all really want to do we all we we need to know who we are who we come from where we go because honestly there's a lot of hate in this world let's be real it's a lot of hate in this world and you literally may be hating an, an ethnicity or a culture that's in you. You feel me? That you don't even realize it. 
So how can you do that? Because you hate yourself. Anyway, he's, look, man, I don't want to hold y'all up much longer. Um, I literally just wanted to go in here. Like I said, I was Ubering and I stopped. I was like, yo, I want to let y'all know my results, like who I am. Because like, this, this, this meant something to me and it was huge um, to actually see the percentages. Um, and I appreciate y'all for even watching this. I was able to share it with y'all. That's the dope thing about YouTube that I love. So, like I said, man, this is not sponsored by Ancestry. Ancestry, if you want to sponsor me, go ahead and do that. You feel me? Link is in the description. Uh, uh, email is in the description. Go ahead, email me. You feel me? Other than that, though, I love and appreciate y'all. Y'all go ahead, test that out. Figure out who you are. And y'all comment below. If y'all have already done this, what did it say you were? What, what? percentages and, and different ethnicities do we have in common you know y'all let me know in the comments but not gonna hold y'all much longer i love and appreciate y'all man it's so much on the way bro it's so much on the way i always say that but just know that a roads uh, myself jones clay tovin ec everybody is working on so much y'all just need to stay tuned man. i love and appreciate y'all we're gonna go ahead and get about this thing